you know how in peacemaking, when everyone feels comfortable, we go on to solutions. And that's, but that's only when everyone feels that this problem is solved. And the problem is solved when, like, say someone gets called a name or something, they get up to that point where they feel like, say, um, someone, like, I called someone a name or something, and they, um, they were mad at me, and I said, um, um, well, I'm sorry, like, sorry, or something like that. That's not really saying sorry, because you're saying it in a rude way. And, it, like, if you're saying it in a rude way, that, me that shows that you're still, like, angry at the person. So, like, maybe when they say it in a nice voice and, like, the person actually believes that they mean it, maybe that's probably when they want, they want to go on to solutions and um, start talking about, like, what they could do next time to, like, prevent the problem. Usually when everybody said, like, what happened, we usually go on to solutions, and then when we're done, we usually ask, like, if we're friends again or something. And if they say the problem isn't solved yet, I don't think it is, then um, they, we, like, talk some more. Or if it's, like, if they think it's solved, then they just shake hands and make up. It's usually solved, but not always. Like, some people. It takes a long time with some people because they have like a lot of things to say to them or they don't think it's solved. Sometimes it's just like when someone talks behind someone's back because a lot of people don't like that. And then they get really mad at them and they start like some people just start yelling at them and stuff like that. And then it gets into a big problem. And it, like sometimes like I think it was l last year. Um, I got into a big fight with my friend, and we didn't talk to each other for one and a half days. You can't go through fourth grade or any grade without having at least two fights or something like that. But I don't think I'll ever get into a real physical fight because I'm not really that kind of person. Like I don't, I don't usually yell a lot either at my friends when I'm in a fight. I just like talk really firmly to them and make them understand. I don't like yell a lot. I like, cry sometimes, but I don't like yell a lot. I don't like make it physical or anything like that. Savannah was a very leadership type person and I guess I kind of was the same. So it was easy for us to, you know, be together because we were so much alike. I mean, sometimes we butted heads because we wanted to be like the lead in our play or whatever, but yeah. we were both very much like that. So it was easy to like be together because we'd always come up with ideas that were similar and stuff because we both wanted to do the same thing. So it was very easy for us to be friends. We like tried to jump off stuff with an umbrella. Yeah, we did that a lot. <laughs> and um, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. And um, we did. Um, we tried to do the movie of Casper. Do you remember that? We had like, We'd, oh yeah. we used to do plays. We always <laughs> made plays. We always made plays and scripts and stuff like and that. And I choreographed ballets for everyone and to learn. And we'd do the music <laughs> and everything. And at lunch, we'd all come together and we'd do like a scene or something like that. It wasn't actually shown to anybody, but that. And do you remember us being cheerleaders that one time? Yes, yes. And we had like pom-poms made out of... Um, Garbage bags. Like garbage bags. <laughs> we like shredded them and taped them together. We had uniforms and stuff like that. Yeah, I that was pretty that. funny. I loved DAS. It was, I felt more, I guess, safer than I do at public school because I knew everybody and I knew that they would like protect me from anything. So, it's a lot different in public schools. Like I, I went to a middle school, a public school in um, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it was a lot different. Like when I first learned that I had to call them by their last names. I was like, okay, that's a little weird. It was a little, like, in DAS, it was more of a community. You knew everybody mm -hmm. by their first names, and it was really, it felt very impersonal to talk to my teacher because I had to call them sir and missus. Like, and it was, like, very closed off, I guess. They were kind of closed off. It was, they weren't approachable as much as they were in DAS. I think I learned a lot uh, about problem solving from the school, and even just, like, 
the atmosphere was really good. With like, I mean, you have the odd student that you don't like or the odd teacher that you don't like. That's always going to happen. But overall, it was a really great experience for me. I do remember them showing us how to do it. They do um, they would make us do little skits. Like they would show us, like they would model it for us, and then they go and they give us a situation or something like that, and then we would have to almost role play of oh, yeah. what we would do and how we would solve it using peacemaking. Like I remember we had to do one skit where um, I had to throw a ball at someone's head or something, and we had to sit down and explain like why I did it and if I meant to do it and why the other person was sad and go stuff like the that. Steps and yeah, they would always they would do it. I think every year they kind of reminded us of how to do it just so it was always fresh in our minds. And I even remember, like, they let us take time out of class. If we had a really big problem, then, like, some of us could go out in the hall and we'd actually have our peacemaking circle. Like, they weren't, it's not like they taught it to us and then didn't let us use it. They, they encouraged us to, to take time if we needed to to solve our problems. Are you in it? Yeah, I'm a peacemaker. Is she? Oh, she's in the oh, problem. Okay. Do you agree to solve it with and or the peacemaker? Peacemaking. Peacemaker. Who wants to go first? Savannah. Um, well, we were, um, like, we were doing this play and the Midori was in it. And we did it for the camera people. And then at the end when Midori came in, we... So, I forget who it was, but someone told her that um, we couldn't play without Midori got really frustrated about it. Midori, we, I, I told you that I reacted silly in the play, so it wouldn't be the real play. But, and I told, and I told you it wasn't a real play. And then you got all upset, and then you started laughing. And then, and then you came back. And and now it's another problem. So Want to say anything? Solved it. Not if she feels sad. She wasn't sad in there when we were still doing it. She was laughing and she had a smile. She wasn't frowning like this. Want to say anything? Come right now. Well, it's not. Well, you got to do it in front of the camera, and I didn't. Well, you know what? We were acting so enough, to tell you the truth. We didn't really, we didn't really, um... And we laughed. Yeah, we laughed, and I, and I, t and I went, ah, 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 ah. And, and it wasn't really the serious. Midori, uh, why were, did you feel sad? Because I, I'm a little mixed up, because when, we came to do the peacemaking. Um, Jasmine was sort of yelling. So that's why you felt sad? No. I didn't yell. I said, Midori, I, I, I told her that we have already sa satisfied it. And I told her like, t like five times that we did not do the real play. It was yeah. just really funny. She was kind of being silly, so I went like that, and she's like, ah, I'm scared of grabbing onto Savannah. So that wasn't what she was really supposed to do. See, so I did a real play. It was really. Well, what you're ah. doing is laughing, so I think you made up. And even now, I still use it. If I'm in a fight with someone, I'll go up and talk to them and try to see what we can do to fix it instead of just like giving them a silent treatment, as most of my friends do. I'm like, why don't you just talk it over? So I explained to them, like, at my school, we did peacemaking, and they're like, well, what's peacemaking? I'm like, well, you, you kind of sit down and you talk about it. And they're like, well, I don't want to talk to them. I'm mad at them. I'm like, well, that's why you have, like, a mediator. So, like, if things do get out of hand, someone can, like, you know, calm them down. And eventually, like, problems are solved much quicker. Now I go to Etobicoke School of the Arts. So it's not really, like, it's not an alternative school, but it's, it's not a, really a public school either. Like, I'm not... There, I have never seen a fist fight at my school ever before, and I've never really seen like I've seen one sort of yelling, like really bad yelling argument. But other than that, it's not like it's a great school, like it, in that sense. But um, 
even with my friends now, like some of them still, they don't know how to solve problems mm -hmm. like, or they don't solve their problems like I do. Um, and a lot of the time it's just, they pretend like nothing happened kind of. Like yeah. I don't know if you find that. Oh yes, but, that and happens all the time. I don't like doing that at all. Like I, do, I can't just. Yeah, like, like it kind of eats, eats away at you. Yeah. And I, I kind of, I like to talk about my problems and try to figure them out so that there's no awkwardness between me and my friends. But a lot of them just pretend like nothing happened, and that really bothers me sometimes because mm -hmm. I don't know how to, I don't know how to deal with that. Like I can't just, if there's something wrong, like if I'm feeling upset or if they if they're feeling upset, why would you just ignore it? You know. I think it it's made me a lot more, um, I don't know, friendly and open to more people and their opinions because we were always used to listening to other people, and so I think I've maintained being a really good listener. I know. All my friends are always coming up to me when they have problems and always talking to me about it because I'm always there to listen to them. And so, I mean, I brought all that. And even, like, the peacemaking, it's, it's made me, I don't know, less of an angry person, I guess, because I can resolve my issues better than most other people. So I'm very, like, I guess, centered more than other people who have all these problems and they don't know how to deal with them. I know how to deal with my problems because I was taught at a very young age how to do it. <laughs> There had been something happening around the show and tell, and Christine was really upset, and, and um, they weren't listening to her. She said that she wanted me to help her, and so we sat down together. Excuse me? I'm going to interrupt you. Could you come here, please? All of you? What? Sit down. Sit down, please. Can you talk? Christine needs to talk to her. I don't, I don't see you looking at Christine. I didn't like it when you interrupted me when I was trying to say something. Can you tell them about the, the part? Do you remember what you said to me first? About how you were behaving during show and tell? I was listening to this and then she didn't listen. She wasn't listening to mine. She was talking. Mm. Well, like I was, I wasn't interrupting Savannah, but I was telling the kids what I did with Savannah. Mm -hmm. But I think what Christine's trying to explain to you is that she tried to listen to what you had to say. And then when it was her turn, no one listened to her. She was feeling really frustrated because she couldn't get people to listen. You know how that feels? You didn't really mean to. That's true. Do you hear that? How does that make you feel when she says you're sorry? Feel a little better? What, what can these two do to make it feel really better? There wasn't any big fights, but like if there was like fights between us, like disagreeing on something, then it always came into play, sort yeah. of. Like it wasn't exactly like as they taught us, like you sit down and you have a peacemaker, but it was along the same lines. Like we'd, we'd talk it out and see how we could come to a solution. Like it was, it was always like there. I remember one time, well, I don't even remember what it was, but we had a huge fight, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we had a huge But we fight. weren't in the same class, I don't think. I think it was... Yeah, I think it was like when we were in grade two, two or something. And when I was in Anne's she class. She was in Anne's class. But we had um, these clipboards oh, on yeah. the wall that had our schedule for the day. And so... And people could, like, put letters up there for us or cards and stuff like that, so... Well, I don't think it was supposed to be used for that, but I think but that that's something yeah, we, we kind started. of, like, started it. Like, I don't remember who wrote the first letter, but we left one a letter on each other's things, and we passed back and forth like that until... Until we were ready to talk, talk to each it. other face-to-face -face about it and sort it out. So. Yeah. We had clipboards that we had to check off things that we had to do, like, every week and things, and, um... What we used to do when we got in fights, because we couldn't really talk to each other because we were in different classes. So what we did was um, we would write notes to each other. And what she did was she wrote a note about it, like, uh, like she wanted to say sorry and all that. So she put it on my clipboard, and I usually get notes there. So I picked it up, and she said, like, to 
I want to work this out and I'm really sorry. And so we um, go to a private place and we work it out. And I said something like, I known you for a long time and I don't want to like stop being friends right now. And, and I really like you, so can we get, try to get back together? So it's been getting easier and easier because we've learned over the years how each, each one of us like knows how to peacemake and how it's the easiest way to peacemake with us. Most of them were misunderstandings, but then some of them were just fights, as in we're getting mad at each other for doing something or something like that. So we were having a problem, and then Lori talked to me about it. I remember, and then I wrote you a poem. Do you remember? Right, I think I have. I wrote too. her a poem, then with a letter. I remember that. Yeah. So Lori actually was the one I think that encouraged me to to do it because yeah. she knew. That's the thing. Like she saw right away because we're we were like best yeah, friends. Yeah, we were really close. And she saw that we were having problems, and I think that I was really upset about it. And so she came to talk to me, and she said. Why don't you try this? And I wrote you that poem about something, bicycles and yeah. stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> there were so many like fist fights and stuff like that at public school that I was like, I wasn't like, I was like, whoa. Because like, <laughs> I mean, we were so used to just solving our problems and they solved their problems by screaming at each other. It was kind of scary almost. But I mean, I still kind of tried to keep the peacemaking thing with me throughout the whole thing. I mean, they had different approaches of dealing with problems and they wanted to do it their way so it was kind of hard to um, solve a problem other than what I knew so that was always a little different solving my problem in a different way than what I was used to because they were used to other things. I'm in grade 11 and high school is again it's so much different it's a lot more violent like people don't really know how to resolve issues or anything like that I mean I get really scared going to school sometimes because just recently we had a stabbing at my school and so I mean I don't understand why people wouldn't like solve their problems you know yeah. but